Yeah, it's quiet outside. We saw some tiny storms overnight. Those did not last very long. It's later on today, really this evening, the main time frame. We could see some heavy rain and maybe some strong to severe thunderstorms. Wind and hail would be the main threats there. Tornado threat really to the west of us today. That'd be central Nebraska. Watching out for that for mid to late afternoon. Satellite radar, very quiet right now, as we were saying. You can see those tiny little specks of green kind of show up there uh, early in this six hour loop. Those were tiny little showers and thunderstorms, but as you can see, they didn't last very long because at the end of this loop, nothing going on. Just a couple of clouds around here. Heavy rain, though, and some storms to our north and northeast. Lots of moisture up here. That's kind of moving up actually into the Great Lakes, but mostly southern Canada at this point. As they get out of the way, more moisture. It's actually coming in from the southwestern United States, leading to some scattered upslope flow showers over the Rockies. That moisture will continue to pour into the plains and provide really necessary and ample moisture for thunderstorm development in central Nebraska as we hit this afternoon. That's the biggest severe weather risk today, or at least the best one. That would be in central Nebraska. But those storms will form and then kind of track west to east toward our viewing area. So heading into tonight, some of those storms, if they can keep themselves together, yes, they will bring some heavy rain, frequent lightning, and maybe some hail, and it's possible some damaging winds. The tornado threat much lower for our viewing area than it will be in central Nebraska. So that's where uh, all the storm chasers and people like that will be later on today is watching for the development of thunderstorms out there. Then we will be watching that development as it tracks to the east. Not too much going on at Epley right now. 73 degrees, so very warm. A couple of clouds, a south wind at about 10 miles per hour, but not too much to worry about. It's a little humid outside. It has been for the past several mornings, so we're pretty uh, acclimated there. 67 O'Neill, 65 in Sioux Falls. It's 70 in Fort Dodge, 69 in Des Moines, 72 down in Kansas City. Here's Storm Predictor showing some clouds here, mostly thin upper level clouds as we start off today. So a mix of sun and clouds, really. By afternoon, though, this is 3 o'clock. A chance of a scattered shower or a thunderstorm. You can see some heavy rain here. That's just off to the west and northwest. As we head toward this evening, 9 o'clock tonight, that is a strong line of thunderstorms. Heavy rain in there, probably a little bit of hail, but it's the winds out ahead of it that would be the main severe weather threat around here for this evening. That rain continues into the overnight. This is midnight. Western Iowa getting pummeled with some heavier rain. We do clear out overnight. Monday looks really nice around here. Slightly drier air moves in also, so it'll be a bit more comfortable, not incredibly humid as we head toward afternoon. But we kind of repeat this all over again heading into Tuesday. So really two opportunities here for heavy rain, which some places still need, but also severe weather. SBC Outlook for today has us in the slight risk. And then again, this is Tuesday. During the afternoon and evening, we'll once again be on the lookout for more severe storms. And it looks like at this point that Tuesday could bring the threat really of all modes of severe weather. So, of course, we will keep you posted. So, watching out for those storms and heavy rain tonight. Monday's looking good, a high of 85. Round two of storms and heavier rain for Tuesday evening. Just a slight chance, though, of a late day pop up shower or storm after that for the middle and end of the week. A little bit cooler, too. Mid to upper 70s. That's pretty comfy Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I will take the 70s after the last week we've had. We like those sevens around here. So. Thank you. On the world